Well, hello guys, how's it going? Good morning to y'all. It is a beautiful morning. What are we doing? Where are we? Where are we, buddy? Huh? Do you want to tell them? Yeah. Where are we? What do you see? The funny rats. <gasps> you being shy? Uh. Let me check it. Let me check your shy meter. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that? what is that? What is it? Is it water? Yeah. Ooh, we're at the water place? Yeah. Oh. So we decided to come down to Palmetto Island State Park because last time we came here, we went on a hike that we got run out by the mosquitoes. So hopefully, since it's not as uh, hot, it, the mosquitoes won't be out as much and we're gonna we're gonna try and this time we have some off spray if we need it so uh amelia's going to use the potty right now jock and i are just kind of walking around checking it out um and we're gonna go down to the trailhead and we're gonna go walk the trail this should be exciting mama and mom sister. and sister are you excited amelia yeah you excited to go hiking yeah yeah all right yeah. Let's go for a walk in the woods. Here we go, the lagoon trail. You ready to go on the lagoon trail, bud? Yeah. Yeah? Here we go. We are officially hiking. <laughs> I love you. Hiking with cookies. You ready, Amelia? Is this fun? As far as we got last time. No, we made it up past this tree here last time. You guys remember last time? Probably what, three months ago or so over the summer? Yeah, yeah. yeah we came here and we were swarmed out by mosquitoes. So, uh, so far, so good. <laughs> we have long sleeves on this time too, so that's also good. We also brought spray Yeah, we got spray and everything. Ooh, let's go look at this. Let's go look at this. this is, is this the lagoon? I, don't, I can't imagine it would be this close. <laughs> yeah. Look, bud. Look at all that algae. <laughs> so, Looking at the water. The water, that's right. Wow, you think there's alligators in there? Is there an alligator in there, buddy? Yeah. There is? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't see one. Chewy. Maybe he's hiding from us. Maybe he's, he's chewy today. <laughs> all right, let's continue on our trail. Well, this is just one long trail all the way down. <laughs> like ride driving on a street that doesn't have any turns i think i remember in whenever we went to philadelphia we were on the bus maybe and you could see all the way down the streets that's what it reminds me of because didn't that have one of the longest streets like straight streets in the united states or something like that do you remember him saying that mm -mm. no <laughs> i feel like i remember that what are berries? look glad you see those berries yeah. What color are they? Black. No. Those are, those are purple. You found some berries? Oh yeah, you found some right there. You want to get down and see? Ooh, you found the berries? Okay, come on bud, let's go. Let's, conti let's continue. Got you a walking stick. <laughs> Good job. This way, bud, on the trail. Stay on the trail. <laughs> hey guys, we're walking back now. Kids are already getting tired of the trail. We were on it for about 15 minutes and then we had to turn around. But there's a nature station here, kind of how they had at that other park with the trail. So we are gonna go down there and see what they have inside there. We've never been inside there before. All right guys, that's the way that we came in from. There's a little path right here that we wanna go and check out. It leads out towards the water. There's a river, I guess it is, up the way here. So we're gonna see what's back here. Kristen and Amelia are already up there. We can go see them. We can go see them. <laughs> it's blocked? Huh? It's a better view by where we Oh, really? Yeah. Uh. All the cypress dumps are in the way. Oh, okay. I still would like to go look real quick. Oh, no, bud, throw it on the ground. So Krista told me about this last time. These little stumps y'all see on the ground, can y'all see those? Those are cypress trees that are growing upwards. 
which I found interesting. So there's a cypress tree. Can y'all see right? Ah, right there. And its roots go down and then they start to pile, they start to come up out of the ground. And that's how new cypress trees are formed. So I thought that, that was really interesting. I've never heard of that before. Here's that lagoon that we saw coming in. Apparently it follows the trail and the trail goes that way. But I took some cool uh, panoramic pictures. I took a vertical panoramic picture, which I've never done before. And it came out looking pretty cool. So if you guys want to see those, it's not going to look good on the video. So I will put that on our Facebook or Google Plus page if you guys want to go check that out. Is it open? No, not on Sunday. Womp womp. Let's go to the, like, you guys want to go to the playground? You want to go to the playground? You see the armadillo? Yeah. You see I him? I want to touch him. You want to go touch him? Yeah. I don't know if he's going to let you. No, don't touch the armadillo. Why not? They might bite. They bite? Oh, look how cute. Hey, little armadillo. Oh, oh. Don't stand that. Getting scared. It's okay. <laughs> go, buddy, go. Go, buddy, go. You can do it. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm a goober. You are a goober. <laughs> a goober McWoober. <laughs> Get it. Get on up, bud. Get on up. You got it. Uh -huh. All right. I can't. You can't do it? Try crawling on your hands and legs. Ready? I can't. Don't say you can't, bud. You can. I believe in you. You just have to figure out how. Can you put your feet into these grooves? Oh, you're in jail. Mm, put that one over there. There you go. Now climb up. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh almost. Go. Oh, you got so far. You ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, wow. You got it, bud. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Look, bud. Grab onto the sides. Grab the sides. Okay. Grab the sides, buddy. You got it? Grab the sides. There you go. You did it, buddy. Good job. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Alright, guys. That armadillo is hanging around where we're eating. We're going to see if he wants a grape. Stay right here, buddy. Stay right here. You don't have another one, do you? No, don't think I'm going to go with I think he found that other one. Did he find it? I know. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> he fell over. <laughs> I 
you did great. Oh, did you find it? Ooh. I think you took it. <laughs> I didn't realize they were hairy. Yeah, I guess so. That is a grape. He is eating a grape. Your brother can see is that exciting? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Lip Armadillo. How are you? <laughs> He was looking for food. A great food? Yeah, I think he ate the grape that Daddy gave him. Right there, little buddy. Oh, you're on top of it. <laughs> oh, he's going in. <laughs> that was fun. What do you think about that, buddy? That. What do you think about it? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Is that neat, Amelia? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's looking for some food. He eats worm, worms and insects. Hey guys, what's going on? It is late. The kids are already in bed. What in the world happened? Well, we came home and everyone took naps. That went really well. We came outside and we played for a little bit and I don't know why I didn't vlog any of it because the kids were being so cute. But then after that, we, uh, Krista made some dinner and then Amelia started crying and crying and crying because she didn't want to take her Band-Aid off <laughs> and she wanted a new Band-Aid. Eventually we got her calmed down and now she's asleep, which is good. But the thing that I wanted to show you guys, it was so cute, it's such a good activity to, if you have kids, to help them learn their colors or just, just anything in general that you want to do. But basically, you take some sidewalk chalk and you make different colors of different shapes. We did hearts today. So there's a, you know, a pink one and a blue one, an orange one, and a blue one, and a pink one, and a bunch of different colors. I really can't see the colors that well. But once you do that, you say, Okay, whatever your kid's name is, Jacques was doing it. We say, okay, Jacques, stand on the green one. And he'd go and he'd find the green one, he'd stand on it. And then we'd say, okay, find the purple one. And so he'd go and he'd stand on the purple one. And he'd say, okay, Jacques, go and stand on the pink one. And he'd run over here and he'd stand on the pink one. It was so cute and he was, he was learning his colors. That was super exciting. And then also, since Amelia, you know, she, she already knows her colors, but she's working on her numbers now. So we wrote all of her numbers down down right here and we'd ask her you know which number which number is this which number is that go stand on this number go stand on that number and she she's getting there she's just started learning some of her numbers but it's just a fun way that you guys if you have kids or if you have a brother or sister that you want to try and help you know learn some stuff uh, just get some sidewalk chalk draw on the ground different colors different numbers different letters uh, we also started doing some addition with Amelia here the one and the two and then you put the dots on the side and then they count them and the answer's three that type of thing krista was doing that with her so it's uh it's really fun to like see them learn and see them develop that's so i don't know it's it's cool to be a part of that i guess so oh wow look at the moon can you guys see that's the street light and let me see if i can put my finger over it that underneath it is the moon <laughs> i wish i could show you guys a better view. Y'all should go look at the moon. Go look at the moon. It's probably still big. To, actually, tomorrow night might be a full moon because that thing looks pretty almost full right there. Huh? All right, guys. Let's go inside. Let's go do a little would you rather. All right, guys. Your would you rather from a week and a day ago. It has been exactly a week and a day since I asked you guys if we should continue the would you rather because of my mom's comment saying that she didn't like the ones in the book because they were kind of gross and all that. So and then we came up with the idea of you guys leaving comments down in the description or down in the comments below of, of would you rather questions that I could use in the vlog and I've really been liking this. So <laughs> the majority of the answers were yes, we're going to continue the would you rather. 
rather. You guys really, really liked it. I think this is one of the would you rathers where I've got the most responses on. I've got the most click throughs on. So thank you guys for, for doing that, engaging with it. That's so much fun. So tonight's would you rather comes from Jaden. I think that's how you say your name right there. And he asked, would you rather be deaf or be blind? So click the words here to cast your vote, and in an upcoming video, I will reveal to you guys which one gets the most clicks in a week and a day from today. And also from there, it's going to take you to our channel page. You can watch some more of our videos. You can click that subscribe button. Oh, we'd also appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button right there. That's always super awesome whenever you guys do that. Let's me know that you guys are watching, and you guys are engaging and paying attention and whatnot. So click these here to cast your vote. Uh, for which one you'd prefer. A week and a day, we'll reveal the answer. Uh, if you have something you want to buy on Amazon, there's this big old link right here that you can click, and that'll take you to Amazon, because you know Christmas is coming up. You may want to go ahead and get some Christmas shopping done right there. You can use our link, and uh, it's one way that you guys can support us, because there's something that you want on Amazon. There's something that you want, and now is your time to go and get it, if you really want it. Just, uh, we'd appreciate it if you used our link. <laughs> and there's also a link down in the description below if uh, you guys uh, don't uh, are not on a computer and you're on a mobile device it'll take you there also there's links in the description below too to uh, to vote for deaf or blind so uh, make sure to go and click that too as well if you're on a mobile device so we'll see you tomorrow guys y'all have a great day